Hi guys, it's me Sir Ace and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, uh, I will be teaching you about the different properties of addition. So this is very important, especially in mathematics. So if you want to learn about this uh, specific lesson or topic in mathematics, just keep on watching. So let us start with the first property which is the closure property of addition. So in this property, it states that the sum of a rational numbers is also a rational number. So like for example, so like for example, we have the given rational number such that 1 plus 2. So the so the sum of these two rational numbers will also be a rational number. So let us see if that is really true. 1 plus 2, which are both rational numbers. And if you are going to add them, the sum will be 3. And 3 is also a rational number. So another, so we have 1 third plus 2 third. So 1 third is a rational number. And... 2 third is also a rational number. And if we are going to add them, so that will be 3 over 3 or simply 1. And 1 is a rational number. And that is closure property. So let us now proceed to the next property, which is the commutative property of addition. So in this property, uh, it states that Changing the position or the orders of the addends does not affect the sum. So, like for example, so like for example, we have two plus three. So suppose that we have this two plus three. So these are the addends. So two plus three is five. So if we are going to change the position of these two addends, so this will be three plus two. And 3 plus 2 is also 5. So, if you, whether you uh, change the position of the two addends or not, you will all, always result to the same number or the same sum. So, let us now proceed to the third property of addition. And the third property is associative property. So, associative property states that changing the groupings of the numbers does not affect the sum. So let us have an example. Suppose that we have this example. So suppose that we have 2 plus 3 plus 4. So according to associative property, changing the grouping. So the first thing that we are going to do is to first group group this number. So let us try to group 2 and 3. So that will be the quantity of 2 plus 3 plus 4. So this is the first group. So 2 plus 3 is 5 plus 4. And 5 plus 4 is 9. So we have 9. So let us now change the groupings. So this will be 2 plus 3 plus 4. So this time, the numbers that we are going to group will be 3 and 4. And let us see if they have the same answer. So 2 plus 3 plus 4. So this will be 7. And 2 plus 7 is also 9. So it does not affect the sum whether you are going to group the, the, the first numbers or the first two numbers or the second and third numbers. So it does not change or it does not affect the sum. It will always be the same. And that is as, uh, associative property of addition. Let's proceed now to the next property. So but before that, let us define first what is this additive inverse. So it was, I think, I, and I know that it was mentioned with you already uh, about this additive inverse. So if not, 
uh, good because you will be learning from this video. So when we say adjective inverse, that is actually the opposite opposite sign of the same number. So like for example, we have 2. So the additive inverse of 2 is negative 2. Same number but opposite sign. So like for example, negative 3. So the opposite of that number is positive 3. And that is the additive inverse. But since we're dealing with the property, we are going to remove that. It's just uh, because it is very important. That's why you must know this uh, additive inverse. So we are going to deal with the property. So the property of the additive inverse. So according to this property, the sum of the number and its additive inverse is equal to zero. Is that really true? Let's see. So let us have an example. So given this number 3, and what is its additive inverse? That is negative 3. That is correct. According to the property, the sum of the number and its additive inverse is equal to 0 daw. It must be equal to 0. Let us see. 3 plus negative 3 is equal to 0. And 3 plus negative 3 means 3 minus 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. Another example. Suppose that we have negative 1. So what is the additive inverse of negative 1? It is 1. And negative 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. We will proceed now to the next property, which is the identity property of addition. So in this property, it states that the sum of a number and the zero is the number itself. Is that true? Let us see. Let us have this example. So let us have, like for example, number five. From the definition of the property, the sum of a number and zero 5 plus 0 is the number itself. 5 plus 0 is 5. And this is the number itself. Another example. 3 plus 0 is 3. And 3 is the number. Like for example, 0 plus 4, a number added by 0. The answer will be 4 or the number itself. As simple as that. And there you have it, guys. We are done already with the properties of addition. So let us now proceed to the properties of multiplication. So if you want to learn that properties, kindly watch the next video, which is all about the properties of, uh, of multiplication. So I hope you learned something from this video. And if you, uh, if you think that this is really helpful, Try to share this with your friends so that they will also be familiar and learn as well from this or about these properties of addition and also.